So, class, let's have another topic which is a uh, transform section. So, in transform section, instead of you have this as steel, you transform it into concrete so that you can have a homogeneous beam which is all concrete. Okay, so transform section that is a hypothetical section where the area of steel AS you have this AS or AS prime is transformed or changed into a concrete in order to make the section homogeneous so concrete all the section so this will allow the use of basic flexure or bending stress equation for investigation only okay so consider you have a singly supported or singly reinforced concrete rectangular beam so for the actual section this is the actual section with the steel reinforcement and then you transform uh, steel into concrete so this one this is now the transform steel section to concrete so for the stress distribution you have this uh, kd which is equal to x and then the distance from the steel to the neutral axis that is d minus x and then you have this force fs over n so that distance d minus x and the distance x is the fc from the neutral axis okay so for the formulas you have for concrete that is fc is equal to mc times x over i where your mc is the resisting moment of concrete then fc is the compressive stress of concrete and then you have the distance x that is the distance from the neutral axis to the outermost compression fiber or that is k times d and then i is the moment of inertia okay that is for concrete for steel that is fs over n where your fs is tensile stress of concrete ah no tensile stress of steel which is in megapascal and then n is the modular ratio that is modular ratio okay and then ms is the resisting moment of steel then you have d minus x which is this distance so you have d then x is you have the distance from the neutral axis to the outermost compression fiber and then divided by i that is the moment of inertia so at the neutral axis the statical moment of compression area is equal to the statical moment of the tension area so therefore you have uh, bx b times x times x over 2 is equal to nas times d minus x you have b times x times x over 2 that is the statical moment of compression area this is the compression area this one so you have the area statical moment is equal to the area multiplied by the centroid of that area to the neutral axis okay so this one is your area compression area of compression block you have this distance x over 2 so for the area that is equivalent to b times x and then the distance is x over 2 so that is the statical moment of compression area for the tension area that is nes this one NES times the distance D minus X. Okay.
that one so let's have a sample problem so you have a five meter simply supported reinforced concrete beam measures 280 by 600 millimeter and reinforced with three 20 mm diameter tension bar using FC equal to 10.4 megapascal FS is 138 megapascal modular ratio N is equal to 10 and you have a cover of 50 compute letter A the steel ratio steel ratio P or rho that is rho okay then B is the resisting moment of concrete and steel you have FC or MS uh, MC and MS okay for letter B and then C is the resisting moment of the beam okay so let's have the solution but first you have to draw the actual section the transform section and the stress distribution but in some cases you don't need to draw it but you have to have the formulas okay so given the problem you have five meter simply supported beam with the base of 280 and a depth or height of height of 600 so the cover is 50 so therefore your d is 550 okay and then you are to solve for the neutral axis or the distance x so to continue you have the number of bars The number of bars formula is AS times the area of one bar diameter. So AS, to compute for the AS, you have the number of bar which is 3 and the area of one bar diameter is pi times 28 with the diameter of the bar used squared divided by 4. So therefore, you have your AS, AS equal to 1847.26 okay then locate the neutral axis so to locate for the neutral axis you have the statical moment of compression area is equal to statical moment of tension area okay so to locate for x you have B times X times X over 2 is equal to NAS times D minus X. So the unknown is X. You have your B, you have your N, you have your AS, and you have your D. So um, the only unknown is X. So substitute the values for B that is 280 times X times X over 2 is equal to N that is 10. AS, you have your AS 1847.26 and then D is 550 minus X. So you have, you can have the calculator to solve for X or you can have the quadratic formula if you don't have any cal calculator. But in your case, you have your own calculator. So you just uh, solve this using a uh, shift solve shift solve functions in your calculator or you can have the equation which is uh, one unknown unknown is x so to solve for x you have x equal to 211.377 so for using calculator you can have this so uh next is to solve for uh, k to solve for k you have this x is equal to k times d okay 
So, you have already your x and you have your d. You have your x 211.377 divided by 550. So, k is equal to 0.384. Okay? So, next is to solve for the moment of inertia. So, for the moment of inertia for this beam, rectangular beam, so you have the moment of inertia I is equal to Bx cube over 3 plus Nas times D minus X squared. Okay? This is the moment of inertia if that is a rectangular beam. Okay? So you solve for the moment of inertia at the base or at the neutral axis. So for example, you have this. You have this transform section. So then you have your uh, new neutral axis. You have your x. So you are to solve for i on the neutral axis with your reference at the neutral axis. This is the compression block. So maybe class you can search or review your uh, statics in solving the moment of inertia. So this is uh, b times x cube over 12 if you have your reference at the centroid of this compression block you transfer it to this one you transfer your uh, neutral axis of the compression block to the neutral axis of the beam you have the transform formula plus the area bx times distance times the distance x over 2 squared that is for if ever you uh, you don't have the direct formula of having the moment of inertia with reference at the neutral axis so just review your uh, moment of inertia topics in your static uh, subject okay so back to the moment of inertia in our discussion so the moment of inertia you have this bx cube over 3 plus nes d minus x squared so substitute the values you have 280 times x which is 211.37 cube divided by 3 and then plus 10 times the area of steel which is uh, area of steel 1847 and then times the d which is 550 minus 211.377 squared so you now have your moment of inertia equal to 2.996 times 10 to the power of 9 millimeter 4. And then to solve for the steel ratio, you have rho is equal to AS over BD. So you have your AS that is equivalent to 1847.26. And then B is 280. And then D is 5. 50. So therefore, you have your rho equal to 0 0.012 or that is 1.2 percent. So that's the answer to letter A. Next, we have the resisting moment of concrete. So to solve for the resisting moment of concrete, you have the formula Fc Fc is equal to mc times x over i so 
resisting moment of concrete, so you are to solve for MC. So you transpose that, so MC is equal to FC times I over X. So where your FC given in the problem is 10.4. Your I is 2.9996 times 10 power of 9 over 211.377. So you have your units in Newton millimeter 4 and then Newton squared millimeter. So therefore, this is cancel 2 cancel. So, Newton millimeter, 1. So, your units for uh, moment of concrete is Newton millimeter. But, you will convert that to kilonewton meter. So, your answer for MC is uh, 147.583 times 10 power of 6. So, the power of 6 same as with our previous uh, conversion to the power of 6 is equivalent to the power of 6 newton millimeter is just equivalent to kilo newton meter this is 1 million times 10 power of 6 1 million so to convert that that is actually equal to kilo newton meter so your mc Answer is 147.58 kilonewton meter. Next is the resisting moment of steel. So you have the formula. Fs divided by N is equal to Ms, which is the unknown, times D minus X over I. You have your Ms, you transpose that to, the, uh, to this uh, portion. So you have Ms is equal to Fs times I. Okay, cross multiply fs times i and then n times d minus x so you have your fs is equal to 138 then i is 2.9996 2 times 10 to the power of 9 is in newton millimeter 4 divided by 10 times 550 minus 211 millimeter squared and millimeter so cancel two cancel one you have newton millimeter so your answer for the resisting moment of steel you have ms is equal to 122.24 kilonewton meter okay next letter c you have the resisting moment of beam for the resisting moment of beam, you just have to compare the smaller uh, value for the resisting moments, either of steel or concrete. So the smaller value is the maximum resisting moment of the beam. Since if you use the bigger value, the smaller value is uh, could be failed since you use the bigger value so if you will use the smaller value the resisting moment of concrete is bigger than the resisting moment of steel so therefore that is safe so therefore use resisting moment of steel so for letter c you have the answer for the resisting moment of the beam that is equivalent to the resisting moment of the steel so take note that Compare this answer with the previous problem you see.